Hey everyone, it's DJ Music, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing the Particle Fix filter, which is a new filter that I coded for Jiggerbuff. Um, this is going to be a filter that actually converts the old particle commands that used to work uh, into compatible ones for the 14 week 31 snapshot. Um, as you might know, they actually did break it, and they made it work with execute only. So if you do the at A at the end of the command like, like this, uh, this will actually no longer work. So if I execute this, you'll see it executes by the command block instead of the player. So that is kind of a, uh, a bad thing about how they did it. So if you actually do an execute on any of the particle commands that used to work, they'll run the command block. If I do slash particle now, you might see the new list. Um, as you can see, it still does not say anything about it. It still says player entity, but player and entity do not actually work. If I type a, if I copy this and run this command, you'll see it executes at me. So it kind of works, but if I do at entity like that, You'll see if I go to any of the entities, or if I do summon sheep, you'll see a sheep. And if I do add entity, oops, well, hello sheep, you'll see that no matter what I do, there actually is no um, effect above them. Like they're supposed to be. It is above me just because I'm the one um, executing it. But as you can see as well, if I sit on the very edge of the block and I look straight up, as you can see, I'm looking straight up and execute, it's actually not um, straight up, it's in the center of the block. So it, they've changed that as well. Um, so you actually, it, it's a little bit broken, it kind of uses the center of the block no matter what, it's not around the hitbox, uh, but they're probably going to fix that hopefully soon. So moving on, uh, this is the relative, as you can see, it does not work. Absolute is if you use re uh, actual absolute co uh, c commands, so right now these coordinates are basically right above. So as you can see, it does work. Um, this will actually still work with the filter, it'll just update them instead of, and actually add like force or uh, normal. And force and normal, basically all it does is it converts, uh, normal will actually make it how it used to respond, and force will actually make it so if you're within 60 blocks, or if you're outside of 60 blocks, it'll actually show up still. Third command is basically the absolute particle command using at A. Um, this is actually just, if you accidentally do this, it'll still support it. So if you actually have um, absolute coordinates, but you have an at thing, this doesn't matter in the old version either, but it'll actually just disregard this and work so that's kind of showing that that it also works with half absolute so as you can see there is uh there's actually it's two blocks above this location so it'll always look at the y value of the command block so if i just let me destroy this activate it the first time it, it spawns there if i go up three blocks and activate it again steal a button as you can see it spawns up there so it'll always take the coordinates if i move it this way and activate it one more time you will see that it's just over here because it takes the Y coordinate only. So it is. it actually does support this as well. Uh, just another thing to note. And then if you actually are, uh, already added force because you're like thinking that you needed to do that, um, it does actually support it. It just will convert it to an execute if it has this symbol in there. So as you can see, this is the example. Uh, it's a little bit, this little particle up there. And because I have force at the end, if I go back over here to the very large area over here, Click the button, you'll see right over there, you actually can still see the particle. If I change this to normal, you'll see when I go back over here, the particle has disappeared. So as you can see, I'm more than 60 blocks away, so now you actually cannot see it. So just by adding force, you actually can get the uh, particle to always be there. So they basically uh, replaced force, or they replaced the player selector with force. And yeah, you kind of see, pretty cool. So let's actually go into MC Edit and let's actually uh, convert these into the new commands and kill these wonderful sheep because they're ruining my recording. Now that we're in MC Edit, let's actually run this. I basically just clone this up here because there's two different options for the filter. First, click Filter and you'll want to select the Particle Command Fix Filter. Uh, this, these are all the options. There's only one different option and an explanation. So if you want it to force the particles, it'll basically be checked. If you want it to be normal so you actually have to be close, just uncheck the checkbox. So let's just do normal for this one. Click Filter. There is no message or anything, but if you actually hover over these, you can see it has been converted to an execute command. Let's go down to the bottom ones over here. Now that these are selected, click filter once again. You want to force it this time and click filter. It's very self-explanatory. Um, one thing that actually I should mention is that you actually do have to ensure that there's no extra spaces at the end of the command. Uh, this actually will break it. So use a different filter that I've released. I'll show it to you now. It is called the fix commands filter. I use it for pretty much anything. Uh, it actually has been updated since I last showed it to you. 
So there's a couple of new options. You can now remove effect command particles. So if you have like an effect command, you can it will actually add true to it. Uh, you can move all the slashes, so it only it just says the uh, the title of the command. Double spaces. Uh, we'll just make it so there's two spaces. It'll make it just one. Spaces at the end is the one that actually will break it. So make sure that you actually check this one. Uh, then you can also replace empty command blocks with air, so that if it's an empty command block, it will like so you can actually find them pretty easily. And then you can just click output. We do not need that. Uh, so let's just replace with air. As you can see, nothing actually happened because they're not broken. But if they are broken, then you can run this filter, uh, filter to fix it. Now that we did that, let's go into the game and let's check it out. Now that we're back in the game, we can actually see all the commands that are up there. So let's look at these first. So as you can see, when I click the button, um, it does execute at me. It's not centered again because the execute command is actually uh, looks at the block, not the player. But you can see it now it actually has taken the old execute at the very end, put it at the beginning. So it's execute uh, the player and then the three brackets, and it's doing two blocks above the player's head with the same exact settings as it did before. So that's nice. It also added normal because I unchecked the checkbox. So it executes above my head. Yeah. <laughs> the absolute particle command, as you can see, this is exactly the same. If I click down here, you'll see it's still down there. Uh, the only change it made is it changed, uh, it changed it to normal. Here's the exact same thing. Uh, it's the exact same command as you can see, but before it actually had the at side where normal was. So because it looked like this, it just replaced the at A with normal. Such that that works as well. And as you can see, it displays down there. This is the half at half. And because there was a uh, bracket right there, or the relative right there, it actually changed it to an execute command. Uh, because you uh, did define it where it says at A right there, it actually did put the at A right there. If you define it separately, it will put the command right there. Uh, but if you actually do not define it, then it will default to at A and just go with it. So let's try this command. As you can see, it executes. There it is. It's, what, it's two blocks above right there. So you can see the execute command right there. It's executing at me, actually. So, yeah, it's executing at my location. So if I go up here, you'll see it right there. So it actually kind of looks at where I am and executes at the current location. Pretty cool. And then uh, I actually had force here, and because of the fact that I did not define at A, uh, it basically just defaulted to at A, as you can see right here. So this is actually at A, and yeah, moving on. So that is basically the filter, just to make sure that you actually uh, delete the spaces so it's not like this. If you have a command like this where there's an extra space right here, it will break. So just make sure you just do a backspace so that the actual command is the uh, way that it works. And yeah! Hope you guys enjoy this filter. Uh, it's available for download on the website, like always. Please like this and share with your friends so everyone else can enjoy it. And I will see you guys all later. Bye.